Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Daily Gym. I'm Jim Kleiber. Today is, oh goodness, April 26, 2022. And uh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Today I may talk for about 10 minutes. going to test that out, but I'm tired. Um, went to bed, I say, at a normal time last night, and uh, I had a really, really bad nightmare. Um, I was... I think hanging out with President Zelensky of Ukraine and we were going to his daughter's wedding but in the middle of a field and we were with another friend and it was almost like we were old friends hanging out again and then there's a helicopter that came and we all got to get a bit scared but it turns out it was a, like an old friend named Ivan or something and I think he was coming from Russia actually and so he got down there we all got in a car we're laughing and smiling and then at some point, a fighter jet flies over and sh- like, we start to scramble. This is nighttime. We start to scramble. And I just remember running like crazy and trying to, you know, not get hit by a missile or something. And then, and then all of a sudden I see people coming up over the ridge with guns and shooting and just feeling completely helpless and scared. And, and you know, it's from the safety of my, you know, the current safety of my home here in Michigan. And yet there are so many people on the other side of the planet who are really, really struggling right now. Um, And I think sometimes we think that war just stays in one spot, but the fear can spread so far. (laughs) You know, it's, it's kind of, I think it's the first nightmare I've had specifically about that situation. But uh, for the last couple years I've had a lot of nightmares about just being in a place I remember going to a conference I go to so many conferences I used to you know attend them I used to work at them and so I was dreaming that I was at these conferences and I'd go halfway through the night and I'd be having a blast I'd be interacting with all these different people and laughing and smiling and just feeling really on top of the world only halfway through to remember oh shoot I'm not wearing a mask and there's COVID and to freak out and start running out of the place. I remember this one time I was running out and I saw a guy who was probably, you know, in his early 20s, maybe 21 or something, going to the gym. And he looked at me and he says, oh, you didn't get COVID yet? Oh, man, you got to be careful. That thing thing will hit you hard. And I'm thinking, this guy's 21. Oh, I'm in trouble. I got to run. And so I talk about that because I think I, I can't be the only one that's having some of these maybe anxiety-driven dreams or nightmares, um, obviously throughout human history, no. But even right now, I think so many of us have been going through different uh, struggles, have different fears, different worries, different losses and grief that we may not always realize it. You know, sometimes I don't realize things bother me as much as they do until... Uh, Again, I'll have a nightmare about it and go, wow, I'm really stressed out about this. Like, this is really kind of eating at me in the the back of my mind or my back of my heart, rather. And I I want to talk about that because, you know, I was talking with a friend the other day, uh, the other day meaning yesterday, (laughs) and she was mentioning how productivity is, her productivity is dropping and she feels somewhat guilty about it. And similar to me, you know, I've I've stayed up late a lot these last couple of years and have woken up quite late and often not that well rested and then have spent a lot of the afternoon and evening just uh, frustrated that I'm not doing enough. And I think, you know, a message that I'll send to myself in my head, the message I'll send to myself. <laughs> Gosh, I have, I have been using so many phones and, and, and computers over the last couple of years that I'm, I'm not even talking to myself anymore. I'm sending messages to myself in my head. <laughs> Anyways, so one thing I'll say to myself in my head often is that, you know, I'm not doing enough to quote unquote save the world. Now, I don't think I say it so directly, but I think the implication is there as I look at what's going on with Ukraine, uh, look what's going on in, you know, there was some war and conflict in Ethiopia. There was obviously some struggle in the US with regards to COVID. There's struggle all around the world with regards to COVID. 
Um, we had some political turmoil in the U.S. Uh, during January 6th, but we also have it just kind of underlying. There's a lot of uh, growing division in dehumanization within the U.S. And so I just look at this and, you know, being exposed to so much on the news these days, I just feel so... I think I put a lot of pressure on myself to do more and more and more and more and more. And I think, you know, my friend was asking for productivity tips. And I don't know if I have tips. I think one aspect is, you know, one thing that helps me in life sometimes and may help others is to just realize that we're not the only one going through that type of experience. <laughs> like, wait, I'm not the only one that wakes up sometimes tired and then frustrated that I'm not doing more, but I feel like I'm not doing anything. But then I talk to some other people and they say I'm doing a lot, but then I reflect and don't think I'm doing anything. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I, 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 so I think one tip is really just for me to get out there and share that this is something I'm going through. And I imagine other people are going through this as well. And it's okay. You know, one thing that's I'm trying to be more comfortable with is that I seem to have particular productivity patterns that I get into. You know, I I think I tend to be a sprinter when it comes to things like this. Maybe it's middle distance. Maybe it's just like when I was running track in middle school. <laughs> I wasn't the 100 meter dash guy. No, 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 I wasn't that fast. But I wasn't the, the one mile or two mile guy. Ah, I, I'd burn out pretty, you know, I, I can't last that long. But I, I found kind of this niche in the 400 and the 800 meter. And something about it was I can go pretty hard for a medium amount of time, but then I need a break. And I've seen this with podcasting. So, for example, I did the podcast for I think like 100 115 days straight, I think I mentioned the other day. That's pretty intense. But then I stopped for like a year and a half. <laughs> you know, I took a break. Um, I wrote a book, Project 35, in 35 straight days, three times a day, 10 minutes each at the exact same time. It was pretty much 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and was it 5 p.m.? Yeah, I think those were the, yeah, four hours apart. 9 a.m., 1 p.m., 5 p.m for 35 straight days, including the weekend. And, uh, yeah, but then I really haven't written that much since. And so just trying to figure out how to accept the level of productivity that we have and, and just accept maybe the tempo or the rhythm of the productivity that we have. I don't know. You know, part of this, this idea with daily gym is for me to just reflect out loud to share some of the stories of what's going on with me and to maybe throw in a little bit of tips or suggestions to others. But again, I think a lot of times the benefit may come in just hearing about somebody else's experience. I'm going to try if I can. Again, who knows where this podcast will go, or at least this segment, the, uh, the daily gym segment of it. But I'm going to try to open up more about what I'm going through to show examples or to let people know that they may not be the only one going through it and to learn the, by proxy or by osmosis or whatever phrase you like. Um, I'm finding that 10 minutes is long. <laughs> Standing here talking into my phone as my voice dries up and I go, oh man, there's still a minute left. So I think I'm going to end it here and basically just say that I think there's so many things going on in the world. Um, there always are, but I think particularly in the last couple of years, there have been so much happening, so much change has happened. And I think a lot of times I underestimate how much that has affected me on an emotional level, on a physical level. And yet still have the same expectations of where I'm supposed to be going or even higher expectations because, oh, look at, but I'm, I haven't been traveling anywhere. I've been at home, so therefore I have all this time, so I should be doing more and kind of this maybe unrealistic expectations and also pressure on myself to go out there and change the world or save it or fix it somehow. 
And I think that's a conversation I want to have on another day about just the ineffectiveness <laughs> or the inability that maybe we have to actually save the world. But uh, I'll save that for another day because I actually made it to 10 minutes. So um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And as always, if you're listening, send me a note. Love to hear uh, whether you like the length of it, like the topics. If you have any suggestions for topics, would love to chat with you about that. All right. Thank you. Talk soon.